the issue of what day people should worship on has been agitated for years and years, despite the fact that the Bible, which is the source of authoritative knowledge, is very, very clear as to which day is the Sabbath day, which is the burden of my brief remarks. Most of Christianity worships God on Sunday, regarding that day as the holy day. Whereas the Bible is very clear, the seventh day is the Sabbath. We are introduced to that fact in the very Garden of Eden before sin entered the world. In Genesis chapter 2, reading from verse 2, the Bible says, And on the seventh day God ended his work which he had made. And he rested on the seventh day from all his work which he had made. And God blessed the seventh day and sanctified it because that in it he had rested from all his work which God created and made. Now there's a principle of Bible study called the law of first mention. What that simply means is when studying any Bible subject whatsoever, begin where that thing is first introduced in the Bible. That first mention will then guide the subsequent study all the way down to Revelation 22. That law tells us that the seventh day, looking at it where it's first mentioned, is God's chosen day. It was not randomly chosen. The reason for that day is the historical act of God resting. I repeat, it, it, the reason for that day is the historical act. Since a historical act occurred, in order to change the day, you must go back and change what happened and no one can. And so the fourth commandment says, remember the Sabbath day to keep it holy. Six days shalt thou labor and do all thy work, but the seventh day is the Sabbath of the Lord thy God. In it thou shalt not do any work, thou nor thy son, nor thy daughter, thy manservant, nor thy maidservant, nor thy cattle, nor thy stranger that is within thy gates. It goes on to say, For in six days the Lord made heaven and earth, the sea, and all that in them is, and rested the seventh day. Wherefore, wherefore means because of this, the Lord blessed the Sabbath day and hallowed it. And so we have a historical foundation for the Sabbath. It is the actual fact that the Creator rested on that day. And since we were made in His image, the rhythm of our life must reflect the rhythm of His life. And God's rhythm is six days work, one day rest, a particular day. This must be our rhythm, is we are to be faithful to the fact that we were made in God's image. So much more <clears throat> can be said on the issue of the Sabbath, but that's all we'll say for now. And I hope this little uh, comment on that holy day, the fourth commandment, will open someone's eyes. May God bless you as you contemplate what you've just heard.